folks. Here comes the parade. And the crowd goes wild once again. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Mike Hall. I'm one of the owners of General Rental Center. That's the free plugs of advertising I get to do for volunteering here at uh, the parade. Have everybody please rise. The Reverend John, the Reverend John C. Silver. So if this microphone cuts out, let's all see. Let's get this parade rolling now. That's the way you start a parade. Anything on the Grand Marshal? I could make up stuff about Tom Murray, but it probably wouldn't be appreciated. A Glade Run coming up. We have the community yard sale and the food truck festival. And we got the food truck festival. I'm going to give up on this microphone. So only about 200 of you are going to hear me. <laughs> All righty, folks. Try one more time. Okay. 
Our Grand Marshal this year is the Honorable Tom Murray. Tom Murray's been a lifelong resident of Zillianople. Number of businesses and stuff going on. He's done a lot for the community. Although, from what I understand, he's always trying to leave. He's running somewhere all the time. Tom, why do you run so much? Is there something you're running from or to? <laughs> Who got the Doc Viola Award? Coming up is the Resurrection Band. And our favorite majorette. And the crowd goes wild for Betty. Betty, how you doing? Thank you for all your years as the best majorette Zillion Opal has ever produced. Alrighty, folks, this is where I'm going to get really pissed off. Okay. Just one, two. Okay, here we go. We're going to try the microphone again. Alright, the Resurrection Band, folks, get those old dusty instruments out of the closet, and you can be part of this Resurrection Band. I see there's an empty seat or two on there, and I think that seat was made for you. pictures of Harmony Fire Department. They want me to email them some pictures. I got it here with my camera. If I can take it with my camera. It's ready to go. Just make something. Folks, this is our local Harmony Fire Command, Harmony District Fire Department, an all-volunteer group. Once again, folks, this is where the crowd goes wild. If you knew how many calls these ladies and gentlemen go out on, the amount of hours they spend on training, your hands would not quit clapping as they go by. Oh, by the way, that was a subtle hit. Fire Department covers Harmony, Jackson, Lancaster, and Zillianople. This is quite an impressive set of eye equipment coming through here, folks. Your way to support them is to buy from their raffles. They've been doing the online raffles lately. Keep an eye out for those. Get, join their Facebook page. Join their Twitter, whatever else they all got going on there. But support this fire department because they support you.
All righty, folks, coming up next are the Boy Scouts. Boy Scouts and Cub Scouts. This is an organization that could use your support. My alma mater, Cub Scout Group from Lancaster Township, was there for about 55 years. Actually just closed up this year because they only had one scout. Scouting is an awesome organization, folks. It taught me a lot of the principles I have in life. I went through scouting. Good job, guys. All righty, coming up next, your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man is brought to you by your friendly neighbors at Living Faith Baptist Church out by the Zoyanopo Airport. Take a leap of faith with us. I don't know folks, is that Evil Knievel down there? Evil Knievel, First Church of Ford City, member of Porterfield Prospect Rotary Club. And here we have the legendary Johnny Bird Band. It is 1942, Pittsburgh Ladder Truck. All righty, folks, coming up next is come aboard the Rocky Railroad to join the fun of Vacation Bible School at St. Peter's Church in joint effort with Park Presbyterian, August 1st through the 5th, each evening from 6 to 8.30. Brilliant Opal Preschool. Handmade go-kart. Letting the early bird bunch of service. It's a keg of cart. All righty, the Evans City Police Department and Fire Department folks, our neighbors, our friends. Folks, it's always brought up, why do we have so many fire trucks and our rescue vehicles coming through the parade? My answer has always been, why not? It's time to show off what we've got in our garages out there protecting us. Water Rescue, Team 300. You'll see Team 300 in action up at the uh, Regatta at Marine State Park. The Regatta is August 6th. Sixth and seventh and eighth. Heaven City Rescue, Team 300. All right, now here comes Cranberry's newest truck. Thank you, Cranberry Township. Township. 
Thank you, Franklin. Kids a hand for decorating their bikes and riding their bikes through this parade. Okay. Mr. Kennedy. And Rachel Everly on her twin Matt Meridian. That and the other thing, your hometown Zoyanople band. Join them every Thursday night at Laser Tech Solutions. Go down and have some fun with them on our Thursday night parties here in, in Zoyanople. And the Patriotic Porch Tour. Make sure you drive through town and notice all of the Patriotic Porches. The Zillianople Area Public Library celebrated its 100th anniversary in 2020. Our memory train celebrates some of the high points of the 100 years. Alrighty, folks. The Zoe Nopal Rotary Float. This year, the Zoe Rotary has put together a float to celebrate a special year for the club. In the first time in 33 years, we have a member who was elected to serve as District Governor, Beth Marshall, and her husband, Dean, are Harmony residents and the owners of Marshall Hair Salon on West Newcastle Street. Beth joined Rotary in 2008 and was the club president in 2013. She is very passionate about the Rotary program, such as its polio ed eradication effort and the youth exchange program. The, Zillier, the Rotary district is named 7280 and covers northwestern PA, from Erie to Mars, in Linesville and Punxsutawney. This 43 club has roughly 1,300 members enrolled. Each year, the Rotary International presents president selects a theme. In 2021, 2020 to 2021 year, Rotary opens opportunities. One of these opportunities is for high school scholarships who are also in attendance on that float. Alrighty, folks, if you missed Jeep Fest uh, a week or so ago, this is the remnants of it. The Jeep Club. Jeep, 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 Jeep.
More Jeeps, more Jeeps. I heard Jeepers love to go topless. That's probably going to get edited out. <laughs> Is it legal to own a Jeep and have it looking that clean? Why isn't your Jeep dirty? <laughs> You're gonna own a Jeep, you gotta ride it like a Jeep, in the mud. <laughs> I think we need a little more enthusiasm in that bubbles. I know you don't like long silences for me. You're just waiting for me to get back on at the microphone again. That group there was a Heritage Jeep Alliance. Is this a uh, 401? No, this is 330. You got 330? I don't know, it looks a little bit like the historical society coming to you live, where history comes alive, folks. George, Betsy, Benjamin. <laughs> On this next one. Join us in celebrating the birth of uh, our nation, our freedom, and our flag with Betsy Ross, George Washington, John Hancock, Ben Franklin, and Thomas Jefferson. And here comes the soccer team. And there's two of my grandchildren out there, Cyrus and Jacob. Happy 4th of July from the SV North Soccer Association. We offer quality youth programs to Zillia Harmony and the surrounding communities. Come play soccer with us. You'll get a kick out of it. All right, there's a VBS group. He's got the whole world in his hands. And we're about to see how far I can throw this microphone. <laughs> Elder Vogel, State Senator. Representing Beaver, Butler, and Lawrence Counties, District 47.
That's 724. Oh, 704. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm looking down there. Front number. Okay, Weber Insurance, locally owned and operated since 1973. Here for all your insurance needs. That's another Weber Insurance car coming through there. And another Weber Insurance car. And then, it's here folks. The highly waited for, the highly anticipated farm tractors. And this is Jay Steinbrough of Rochester on a 1957 Farmall 450. <laughs> Vernon Stoops on a 1957 Farmall 450 with a couple of couch potatoes. Ah, we're getting a little older here now. We got a 1949 Farm All H. And here comes Tyler Stoops in a 1956 350 high utility rare tractor. Only about 1,004 were made. Leroy Bentram. Leroy Bentram driving a 1950 Farm All H. And there's William Stoops in a 1954 Farm All Super M. This tractor still works on the farm. I don't know about the one sitting in the couch on the back. Do they still work on the farm? All right, there's an Ollie's Charmer tree. I'm not sure, folks. That might be a manure spreader, and he's going to test it. Cox's <laughs> aggregate. Out of Evan City, PA. I don't know, that looks like a fun little tractor to play with. Matarco. Matarco excavating. Located in Lancaster Township, Harmony. Thank you for all the Matarcos. Matarco excavating, folks. folks are we enjoying the parade today and this is where the crowd goes wild again obviously this town needs to look up what the word wild means <laughs> let's have a little enthusiasm in that and the crowd goes wild there you go that's better 
Kids, please stay back away from the moving vehicles. Parents, watch your kids going out there. There are moving vehicles. We don't want any road kills. All right, coming up next is Lawn Works Landscape and Garden Center, located two miles west of Zillion Opal, celebrating 35 years in business. We want to wish everyone a happy fourth and God bless America. Hello there, Mrs. Palmer. That wasn't God calling you, just me. <laughs> Alrighty folks, let's watch those kids going out after that candy. Oh, and you thought the tractor parade was over. <laughs> We got more lawn works coming up here, folks. This is sort of why they don't want people throwing candy from the cars, because it doesn't make it out far enough. I'm just saying. Get a better arm on yourselves there, kids. Get it all the way to the curb. Get the candy to them. Don't make them come to the candy. Parents, please keep your kids back. Folks, here comes another parade of tractors. We got Stephen Frederick in a 1966 Farmall 1206. I'm telling you folks, most of these tractors are farmers working on these fields. We don't have the farmers, we don't have the food. So let's give these farmers a nice round of applause. Ken Linton on a Farmall 400 diesel. Ben Cordillo in a 1957 Farmall 450 tractor. I don't know if you folks have noticed, but not one of these tractors has been younger than 50 years. They're all 50 years and older. Roy Knopf in the 1968 Alice Charmers D21. Adrenoff on a 1958 Alice Charmers D17. Wayne Bieber, 1954 Alice Chalmers, WD-45. And Kevin Weibel driving an Alice Chalmers. And now we're gonna switch to Fred Flew on a 1955 Oliver.
I'm Oliver the Eighth, I am. Okay, that's why I didn't sing the national anthem. <laughs> Milk House Heights, ready food. Dale Eisenbaum, sponsored by Milk House Meats. And there is Kenny Williams, Clyde McTire, <laughs> and the Williams family in a 1950 Farmall 450 Cole Cody. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? There's John grew up in a 1950 John Deere MT. And that's Uncle Sam or Dave Grupp on a 1940 John Deere Model H. And Jack Grupp on a 1950 John Deere M from Grupp's Christmas Trees. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. <laughs> I'm going to get fired one of these years. We are a non-competitive studio where we believe Anyone can dance, ages three to adult. We have ballet, tap, jazz, hip hop, acro, musical theater, and adult classes in tap and hip hop. The Sears School of Performing Arts. The Red Barn Players have been providing summer theater productions since 1955. Many of you have probably enjoyed their performances at the Red Barn Theater, just a few minutes drive from here in Zillianople. The group is back this year after a season lost to the pandemic, which we will never go through again. Outdoor music reviews scheduled for your enjoyment. The best of Broadway, Red Barn ba Bandstand, and Sincerity Sinatra. Folks, you gotta check it out, the Red Barn Theater. All right, the Evan City Historical Society, Trolley Bar, mate, miniature replica. Originally built for Zoe Opal's Cecil Centennial Parade in 1940. Zoe and Ope, uh, restored by Rick Reifenstein and displayed today by him and his wife, Rita. He is the president of the Evans City Historical Society. We got a night, I uh, got a John Deere. And that's another John Deere, green and yellow. And then we have Paul Hunter in a 1954 Farm Hall, 400. Tom Lutz in the 1950 Farm Hall 450 from the Lutz Farms. And then Tim Lutz coming up in a Farm Hall Super MTA from Lutz Farms LLC. And Guy. In a 1952 Farm All Super H, come out of the field for the parade. It just came out of the field for the parade today. We'll be back to the field to work tomorrow. And Carter Dambon, a 1938 Alice Charmer. Eva Bryan, shoot take. Eva Bryan Shoe Teak mobile truck that can now bring shoes to private events. Sensations Marching Unit. 
a former Sailor Town from Sailor Township. Please welcome Sensations Marching Unit under the direction of Joe Angerardi, Maria Locker, Tori Nassisio, and Stephanie Henderson. Folks, it's hot out there. That pavement's hot. Give these girls a round of applause for what they're doing out there. Pam Greenwald, PB Sweets and Eat, 311 East Main Street, Evan City, Quaint Bake Shop featuring fresh baked goods daily. Lutheran Senior Life, Pazilin Felt, Pazilin Communities. folks here comes Diamond Dance Academy dance gymnastics and karate studio in Elwood City not only can they dance they can jump and they can kick your butt Good job, ladies. Hook and haul coming through, folks. Hook and haul, I don't know if you remember them from two years ago. They were doing the push me, pull me, where they carried a tow truck in between the truck. One driving forward, one driving backwards, and one hanging in the middle. Hook and haul. Seven oh six. Barkley con contracting. Barkley con co carpentry. Veteran and family owned since twenty seventeen. Fully insured, free estimates. Oh Lord. Alrighty folks, I'm gonna do the best I can with this one. Harley Lodge. Number 429. Free and accepted masons of PA. Regarding in the Zillion Opal Harmony Lodge units for over 150 years. The Church of God at the Connecticut The Church of God welcomes you to attend their energetic services with thought-provoking services pertinent to the time we live in.
tonight the office of U.S. Representative Mike Kelly, serving Zillianople in the House of Representatives. Mike was born and raised in Western PA and has lived here all his life. He considered, considers it an honor to represent you in Congress. And there he is, Mr. Mike Kelly. And the crowd goes wild. All right, J.J. Kennedy since 1905. All righty, folks. I don't know if you've heard this, but I heard there may be another pandemic coming up. There's going to be a shortage of jobs. We're going to run out of jobs, so what we need is everybody to run out and get a job right now. Get one of those jobs that's left out there. Get two jobs. Help these small businesses recover. Stop the next pandemic. All righty, now we start the antique car run. Wayne and Nancy Young in a 1931 Model A Ford. <laughs> I know, my microphone keeps going in and out. Alan Dambon, a 1963 Corvair. Spider, rebuilt from junk. Elmer and Mary Crawl on a 1940 street ride business coupe have had this car for 54 years. The color lime green, lime metallic green. And Michael Bazzelli in a 1973 Pontiac Le Mans sport coupe. Bevan Ron Rape in a 1967 Pontiac Le Mans. I told you it goes fast here. <laughs> and there he is, Mr. Ed Armstrong. Hey, Mike. <laughs> How you doing, Ed? <laughs> and Stephen and Katie and Dam Damien. In the 1987 Chevy Corvette. And that was four dudes, three graduated high school at Seneca Valley, the driver being a senior. During the 1993 vintage Mazda, Miata. Okay, we got a 1954 F1 pickup, all original. All right, now 1952 Chevy 1500, five window big red. Petite Miss horse trading days. Crystal Hor Horan. Accompanied by her cousin Tyler Kovac, happy 4th of July, Kendall around 19, 2019 Petite Miss Horse Trading Day. And we have Rick and Patty McClure and Ben Stern in a 20, 2002 Jeep Wrangler. And we got Nick and Elena in a 1926 Ford Model T. Depot Hack Station Wagon. <laughs> the Zillianople Historical Society invites you to our patriotic porch final. Or tour final tour tour final on Thursday, July 8th, starting at 4 o'clock. Mike and Gene Safford in the 1968 
Stingray convertible, totally restored by Jason Safri. Nice. West Woodward, Woodward Restoration Services, in an 04 Monte Carlo SS, a 380 engine purchased in May 2020. Alrighty folks, the parade is not over yet. It is still a live parade. Please stay where you are. Now kids, coming up are the horses. The horses are not throwing candy and those are not road apples. You do not want to grab the road apples. And there's Neil Jackson. Neil Jackson is sometimes known as Mr. Zillion Opal. Okay, folks, no horsing around now. Hold on, the parade's still going. The Zoe Noble Rotary would like to thank everyone for coming out to the parade today. I know there's nothing up at the uh, park today, but uh, I believe there are fireworks. And uh, just have a safe day of celebrating with your family and friends. Something we weren't able to do last year. Alrighty folks, one last time, because we got our freedoms back and they will never be taken away again, this is where the crowd is really going to go wild saying God bless America. <laughs> Keep your kids back please. Somebody just worked up. All righty, this is Mike from General Reynolds signing off. Have a great day, folks.